Good evening. Good evening. Well, well, I mentioned the elephant in the room since you've all had a good look at me. Well, I know what you're thinking. It's always one of two things. It's either, is it Rolf Harris or is it Colonel Sanders? <laughs> yes! Yeah, I was joking about my appearance here. I've been doing some things about this, though. So if I was the Frankenstein baby of both Rolf and the Colonel, I don't even know if it's possible, but if I was, I'd want a catchphrase, wouldn't I? What a catchphrase. Both men, famous for many, many things. The Colonel, with his secret recipe, 11 ingredients he managed to keep private for many years. But Rolf, he touched the privates of many 11 year olds and uh, kept the secret for many years. But uh, that's a catchphrase that's really famous for, isn't it? It's catchphrase, instantly recognisable. Uh, so let's try it. Uh, the Colonel's, it was finger looking good, wasn't it? Uh, to be fair, Rolf could have adopted that one himself. But, uh, He's a notorious fingerer, if that's such a word. But uh, I haven't good authority that Rob's actual catchphrase was, I'll give you a sweetie if you touch my penis. Yeah. <laughs> What's that effect? What's that? I'm actually using artistic license there, since he's not having Rob Harris lawyers and the audience this evening. It doesn't seem to be so good. So it's good to be here at Red Raw at the stand. Yes, another milestone in my so-called comedy career. You okay then? Yeah. Yes, good. And uh, I've been notching them up left, right, and centre lately. But the pinnacle was last month. I performed for the first time in front of my wife. Aww. Yeah, well, no, obviously I've performed many, many times before. <laughs> but those performances don't take place at home. I'm usually naked, not so keen when she laughs at me in performance. So I could turn all those things on her head. And that was the last one. Gig was going great, I won't lie. Until I noticed she brought her pal with her. Uh, yeah, that's not uncommon. What are you guys here to make your friends, aren't you? But this friend was a female doctor. Last time I'd seen her was in a professional capacity. Oh, very embarrassing, very embarrassing. I developed an intense burning rash in my inner thighs. Turns out the earrings I bought my wife for Christmas were real gold. And, uh, oh, uh, I think I'm not explaining. But, uh, she took, she took one look at me, she put me ease, because anything that goes wrong down there is a, it's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Of course it is. She took one look at me and she said, Callum, we don't need antibiotics for this. We need an old-fashioned recipe, like a poultice. You know, bread, mustard, vinegar. Well, I did that. I mean, bread, mustard, vinegar, and hot water. Well, I use boiling hot water. Uh, to this day, my penis looks like a piece of pork crackling. Um, on the plus side, my wife's not a vegetarian, and she wants to smell a bacon in the morning. So, uh, what was a bonus? What was a bonus? I won't lie, though. The gig did go tits up pretty quickly, not because of that. I started thinking about first. I'm looking at her in the audience, I'm thinking the first time we met, the first time we kissed, the first time I performed oral sex on her. Why was I thinking this in the middle of a gig? I really don't know. I won't lie. Obviously, you're looking at me going, that's an experienced lover up there, aren't you? No, of course, yeah. Of course. The first time I performed oral sex with my wife, I was floundering about there, flapping, maybe flapping's the wrong word, but floundering about there. And uh, that was hopeless. But if I was a younger man, if I was a younger man, I'd YouTube it, wouldn't I? You can learn everything from hoggerated beekeeping on YouTube, can't you? I eventually learned how to perform Curry Lingus the hard way. Yeah. My dad showed me. <laughs> what a night that was. There uh, wasn't much in the telly, let me tell you. Well, I'll tell you. The year was 1985. There was a minor strike on. We couldn't get our hands on a real vagina by then. And uh, my dad, oh God bless him, always the innovator. He heard the chime of the ice cream van. He threw me 50 pens. Right, son, go and get me a double nugget and a packet of scampi fries. Now, if you've ever seen anybody eating a double nugget, you do not need a YouTube tutorial on how to perform Connie Lingus. No, you don't. The scampi fries were there merely as a background bouquet. He was, uh, he was preparing me for my first fishy one, wasn't he? Yes. So, uh, I'll see if I can fish it. We won't go for that. So, on that note, I'm going to say goodnight. <laughs> Bye! Yay!